Right behind me is the MVSX an arcade cabinet. Now I have done a couple of videos about the MVSX. I covered the software called Usagi, Omega, and Chris. And someone recently asked if I could cover the newest Usagi software. There have been a lot of changes and updates through the Telegram channel. And in this video, I am going to cover the latest Usagi software and see if it is any better than the original Usagi software itself. Now, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, I suggest you watch my previous videos on how to soft mod the MVSX. I shall put the links in the description, as well as title cards in the corner of this video. I downloaded the Usagi United version 2 mod as you can see. These are 10 packages, most of them being 1GB in heft. As you can guess, this can take a while, so sit back and relax while all files are incoming. In the meantime, I prepped a USB stick and formatted it to FAT32 with a little program called FAT32 Format. The the MVSX will only read this particular format, not NTFS or FAT. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for this software. Once everything has been downloaded, you are left with files that have no extension. In order to make them identifiable in Windows, you need to add an extension to it. I chose .7c because I use the 7-zip packaging program. You can also add the .zip extension, so Windows sees it as a zip file. Once you are finished with that, you can unpack it all. I then proceeded and transferred all the files to the root folder of the prepped FAT32 USB stick, which also took some time. After that, I plugged in the USB stick and turned on the MVSX. I chose Hylostick X and saw the Omega logo boot up. And that was it. I tried it a few times, and after a while I knew what the problem was. It was trying to search for files that weren't there. So I went back to my PC and did this. I made a backup of the previous Usagi software to my desktop. Then I copied the new version on top of the previous version, which was on the other USB stick. This overrides and adds the other software to the already working Usagi version. After that was all done, I placed the original USB stick back into the machine, fired up Hilo Stick X, and was greeted with the Omega logo. The menu looked different. I booted up in a Mega Drive list, and it showed another UI. I chose the first option. The system booted, and I was greeted with the 148 games option I was familiar with. The first thing I noticed was the box art in the UI had changed and looked better. Games worked fine as far as I could see, but it had a problem in the menu screen. There was no selection cursor, so I had to guess which option I was selecting. This bug was pretty annoying. When I booted in the other game options like the classic arcade game, the select prompt was visible. There is still the option to use filters on your games. Personally, this scan line option is the way to go for me. I then moved on to the hex slash unlicensed section. I have no idea why it's called this way. Presumably these are placeholders that still need to be renamed? I have no clue. In this pack, a lot of extra games have been added. Instead of 148 Sega Mega Drive games, you can now choose between 199. There is also the option to map the MVSX buttons different to match your style of play. Personally, I have been accustomed to the layout and it's perfectly fine by me. But that cursor select bug is something that hinders me a lot. And the fact that choosing between the software packs is highlighted with placeholders while the original Usagi had everything neat and correct when it came to the UI and text. So here's my thought on the Usagi update. I would say if you are satisfied with the original Usagi, I would not tamper with any of it. I am always grateful that volunteers are still working on software for the MVSX in any way, at no cost. I would suggest to them to fix these minor bugs and make that box art UI standard across all the software packs. But for now, I am happy on where the original Usagi sits. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up. A subscribe is also appreciated. To keep you updated on the latest videos that I upload, leave a comment to let me know what you think or might suggest concerning Usagi. And I'll see you on the next video.